Have you or anyone you know ever needed orthopedic surgery? Well, bone drilling is an important part of nearly every orthopedic surgical operation, from a hip replacement surgery to a simple bone fracture repair. And when it comes to drilling bones, heat is an invisible enemy. You see, the process of drilling actually generates quite a bit of heat between the drill bit and the surrounding bone due to friction, kind of like how rubbing two sticks together will start a fire. But in this case, you'll do a lot of damage before you even get to that point. In fact, at temperatures as low as 116 degrees Fahrenheit with just a minute of exposure, there can be irreversible consequences, such as bone cell death. But despite this being a known issue, the effect of heat is almost never included in the training of new or novice surgeons. In fact, they may not even realize things are getting too hot until they start to smell something cooking. While this might be okay for baking cookies, I don't think that's ideal for a surgical scenario. So, the question lies, one, how can we see the temperature of a drilling process? And two, how do we do so fast enough to be meaningful in a real-time drilling scenario? Luckily, we have physics and data on our side. I'm developing a method for real-time temperature visualization of a surgical drilling process using a data-driven approach, or a model that can quickly show the resulting temperature maps of any given drilling trajectory. Using machine learning, I can basically teach the computer how heat will spread and build up inside the bone material. And the preliminary results are very promising, with over 97% accuracy compared to traditional simulation-based methods. This is also really good because this means we can now do, in a matter of seconds, what could have typically taken hours with some previous approaches. Now, we must truly put my model to the test and compare these predictions to experiments from our lab, where we are conducting some simple drilling experiments on a bone-like material. But we cannot stop there. We will be in engagement with a few orthopedic surgical departments in the Houston Medical Center area where we would conduct some similar drilling tests, but with first-year surgical residents who may have very limited experience. The system includes a handheld drill, position tracking system, and bone-like material, which allows us to collect all the necessary information we need to be able to present their feedback in the form of these temperature maps. With this, these novices can practice their drilling skills with temperature in mind and do so outside of the OR where they can cause no harm to patients. So maybe your grandma's hip replacement surgery could be improved from this research, and we can save the smell test for baking and not surgery.